Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And finally, the 10th month of this year has started. It's finally October, and this is a very important month because this is the last month when Jupiter will be in Jeshta Nakshatra, and on 5th of November, it is going to move into the sign of Sagittarius, conjunct Saturn and Ketu there. It's going to be a very interesting month and by the end of this month, Mercury will also be retrograde and Venus will almost come out of its combustion by the end of this month. And Venus has also, Venus will be entering Libra by the beginning of this week within another week i would say uh, and mercury has already entered libra so and mars has just entered virgo and sun will enter libra on 15th and rahu has changed the nakshatra from punarvasu to ardra and saturn has now gone direct in purvashada and after some time it will enter uttarashada and that's the astrological uh, viewpoint of the transits in case of details all right so as the month starts we will have the conjunction of moon and mercury in the sign of libra so wherever libra is you will see there's a lot of communication and a lot of uh, focus going on there in your chart okay depending on your ascendant not your moon sign and as usual if you want to know how this transit will affect you personally that will depend on every horoscope so for that you can go down to the description section uh, of my videos to find my website for booking a reading with me and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and please share this video with somebody who is interested to know what's going to happen in the month of october and whatever i speak here will not apply 100 percent to everybody because uh, whatever whatever your dasha is indicating ultimately that will happen and the dashas will be different for everybody okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of october or november so this is a very interesting month i would say rather than saying it interesting i would say it's a very polar month polar because there's a lot of extremities which is going on now this month is very good in a way in a sense that there is no fighting or there is no war or any um, any very dangerous situation within the planets okay i'm not talking of war in the in in the earth, earthly sense or in fights between countries i'm not saying that what i'm saying is there is no like generally what happens you know when mars and rahu come together you know it's like a crazy time sometimes we go at war with ourselves sometimes all right so there is no uh, there is no war-like situation from a planetary side during this month. But the thing is, there are some exchanges which are happening. So, till the beginning of uh, first 7-8 days, Venus is in the sign of Mercury. And Mercury is in the sign of Venus. So, which means they are in exchange. So, you will see that in your chart, wherever whichever houses venus and mercury are ruling depending on your ascendant you will see that unless one house functions the other house is not function why like that because uh, parivartan yoga is happening i have not made videos on parivartan yoga very soon i will make but what is parivartan parivartan means uh, in a loose sense, you can say there's an exchange. That's not a very good word to use for Parivartan, but that's how the astrological community understands, which means a pl two planets are sitting in each other's houses, each other's signs. Okay. So it's like saying they have exchanged their responsibilities. Now, what does this mean? This does not mean that one planet gives the results of the other planet at a literal sense. It means that both the planets are dependent on each other so imagine i tell you that uh, suppose your uh, your home is in new delhi india and your friend's home is in uh, london and suppose both the homes are under attack by some terrorist 
so then suppose i tell you that okay my home is in delhi but somehow i am in london and my friend's home is in london but somehow he's in delhi so now if we we have a responsibility to protect each other's houses then it's like saying that i am protecting london the home in london and the guy in london is protecting the home in delhi so now it means that if suppose i cannot protect the home which is in uh, london my home is in delhi suppose and the home which is in london suppose i cannot protect that home so then what will happen the terrorists will come and kill me and occupy that home so that home is now there so by that the guy who was owning that home is now losing that ownership and that will make him more weak and more disheartened and he will be into depression and the enemy which is inside delhi will also overpower him like that and this can happen for good things also so suppose i i go to london and i am very happy there okay so then maybe i say oh oh i am so happy you know i will decorate this home today i spend 1 million euros there and then by hearing this my friend who is in delhi he becomes extremely happy he says oh you have spent 1 million euros for my home i will also spend you know 1 million gbp maybe <laughs> for your home in delhi so it is working for both the good and the bad and for everything else in between so essentially rather than seeing it as good or bad these are some examples which i gave you to explain how it can work these are some very extreme graphic examples we have to understand it like this that whatever is indicated will be dependent on both so for example if you are uh, so suppose now mercury venus are always the trinal lords in each other's ascendants so which means that if your uh, ascendant is uh, suppose you take gemini lagna so for gemini lagna then venus is your fifth lord yes and because the sign libra is in your fifth house for gemini and saturn is your ninth lord so now if you are a gemini lagna then it can happen that now your ascendant and fifth lord are in parivartan and this will happen till the time or uh, venus is in libra or uh, sorry venus is in uh, virgo till the time because very soon venus is also going to enter uh, libra of course so it, it means that you and your fifth house are both linked so till the time so it can happen that if your health is down then if you are married if you have children your ch children your child uh, his or her health may also go down anything can happen if something happens to your son or daughter it may affect you your health some something of this sort could happen and of course depending on the dasha you will know what exactly is happening but these are some ways to understand okay so they will be lords of the trines okay if venus or mercury is either the ascendant lord so for the venusian and the mercurial ascendants this the first 10 days is very important okay so keep an eye because the trinal lords are in parivartan and this also happens if mercury is in uh, taurus and venus goes to gemini then also this parivartan can happen and now also it is happening because of libra and virgo and gradually uh, venus will also enter the sign of libra and this will pose a great relief for those who have their moon or ascendant in in taurus or libra because currently venus is in the sign of debilitation and that is why uh, many times uh, people who are ruled by venus or they either their ascendant or their moon uh, they can feel that life is uh, life is good but it could be great uh, you you may feel that uh, either you are not able to do things which you want or you could feel that although i did what i wanted but this is not something which i intended to do or the results are not that promising as i thought it would have been or it could have been or it should have been all the ifs and buts and coulds and shoulds <laughs> you can put there 
but uh, that will uh, pose a great relief when venus enters libra libra is his moon trigon sign so congratulations on those lines and now venus will cross through chitra nakshatra then it will enter swati and then it will enter vishakha these are these are great positions for venus to be in and after that what will happen as the month goes and you know, sun will also enter the sign of libra okay so now sun entering libra that can make us feel that we ourselves are not sufficient for ourselves which can which means that we might we might feel that uh, life is life is only fulfilling when we stay with somebody else all right so instead of seeing it negatively we should see it as a time to lower our ego not pretend that uh, we are all independent we can do whatever we want ourselves no we can't do that why because there's only one independent person and who is that shrimad bhagavatam first canto first chapter first shloka says that janmadyasya yaton vayad itaratas charthesu bhigya swarat swarat <laughs> Swarat is the word independent, and this verse is referring to Janma Dyasya Yataha to Lord Vishnu. All right, so he is the only one who is independent. Nobody else is independent. Everybody needs others. We need the trees for oxygen. The trees also need us, maybe for carbon dioxide. So the material nature is arranged in a way that we are always dependent on somebody. All right. so we may pretend and uh, be fake and say that we are independent but actually we are not we cannot be independent and we will never be independent so many times people tell me that oh i don't want to work under a boss i want to be independent i want to have a independent profession well you may say that you are dependent on a boss but then when you have your own business you are dependent on clients all right so uh there is no independence actually in this world everybody is dependent on somebody else but everybody pretends that you know i am the strong macho man i don't need anybody go to hell everybody i don't give a damn you see i i am the best after all <laughs> all right so we need to uh, get rid of this uh, fake stupid pretentious and uh, i mean what should i say this kind of behavior that we don't need anybody all right no it doesn't work like that we need family we need uh, friends we need our loved ones we need the office we need colleagues we need our boss we need our guru everybody we need all right we need us they need us so now is the time that we acknowledge the presence of other people in our life and because libra is the seventh house so it represents the spouse also so if you are in a relationship or if you are married then you can always appreciate your husband and wife at least for these 30 days <laughs> okay from 15 october to november uh, 15 and after that whatever you do but at least these 30 days you can try okay and apart from that it's a great time to meet people socialize and realize that we can do much more when we are together now this does not mean that we behave uh, we behave irresponsibly two irresponsible people can never complete each other so we have to be uh, we have to be responsible we have to be complete in ourselves and then we have to meet other people who are also responsible and who are complete by that something great can happen because if if you think you are miserable your life is terrible you are unhappy you are sad you are depressed and if you think that the day i get into a relationship with a girl or i marry somebody that is the day all my problems will end well then i will tell you what will happen your misery will spread to your wife also all right so a miserable person will make the other person also miserable because when you get into a relationship or you get married the only thing you do is you share your life so if you are if your life is great you share great things if your life is miserable you share misery so that is why you will see people when they are alone sometimes they are happy but they are miserable and when they are 
in a relationship or they are married their misery increases 10 times why does that happen because they are miserable and your wife attracts your tribe should i repeat your wife attracts your tribe so you have attracted another miserable person a person who is damaged and uh, cannot take care of themselves and by that both of you become more miserable 10 times together all right <laughs> that's how it happens but we we have to understand that Staying with others is great, but we have to be able to be happy ourselves. And then when we share that happiness with others, then our life becomes better. Okay. So dependence makes you weak and independence makes you lonely, empty. So the word is interdependence. Be strong, be happy inside and also share your happiness with others. All right. That is in the interdependence. So don't be dependent and don't be independent. Both will land you in misery. All right. So dependence is landing everybody in misery and independence. Loneliness, suicides, it is increasing. Every day, I don't know, I heard a, somewhere uh, in some statistics that every second, how, no, every second or every minute, how many suicides are there in this world? Why? Loneliness. That is the one of the most prominent re reasons for depression and suicide all right so uh, we have to be happy ourselves we have to do things which give us fulfillment which make our lives better and then also we have to go out and share our life with others all right otherwise if you're just having a great life sitting alone then you'll be miserable because you are independent that time all right and if you are not happy, you are miserable and you think somebody else will come and make you happy, then you are dependent. Even then you are miserable, right? So dependence and independence both give misery. Interdependence is something which makes you happy. And that's how the spiritual world is. Everybody is interdependent, right? And what else? Mars will continue to be in Virgo. So it's a great time to be action oriented also for ourselves okay virgo is all about us i me and mine this is the sixth house dealing with our own daily crap sometimes <laughs> so so it's a great time to deal with the crap whatever whichever area you are lacking see if you try and sit and analyze you will feel that some area in your life there is there's a mess which is going on so that is the place where you need to put your efforts in. So whenever a planet transits Virgo, you realize that your life is in some kind of a mess. Or not your whole life, at least your uh, the, the houses which Ma that planet rules. So currently, Venus will leave Virgo, but Mars will be there in Virgo till 10th of November, so the whole month. So whichever houses Mars rules in your chart, you will see that those things are kind of in, in a messy state. Messy state does not mean uh, there's no improvement, but there's a lot of scope for uh, improvement and you have to make those improvements. At the same time, because Saturn is throwing its 10th aspect to Mars and Mars is throwing the 4th aspect to Saturn in Sagittarius, we can become too much obsessed with um, getting things done and then waiting uh, for see it's not bad to be result oriented but we have to understand that we also have to uh, grow when we are grow through life okay not just we are going through life right so always grow as you are going through life don't just go because what happens then you will go 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 you will cross milestone when you are 15 then 10th exam then when you are 25 then maybe masters then 30 married then 35 children 40 you have your property or 40 maybe car then 45 maybe you have your home and 50 you are the ceo of a company okay 55 you are maybe chairman then 60 you retire what do you do after that so only being result oriented and getting into milestones will will end in depression okay at the end that is why you see people after retirement they always uh, most of them they get into depression why 
because their life has always been about conquering and achieving milestones and after you retire for most of the people they feel that life is not worth living anymore because i have no goal in life right so that's a symptom of rajas rajoguna and tamoguna so anybody who is in depression is actually functioning in rajas and tamas but be in satoguna satoguna's two characteristics is that it flows upwards and inwards rajas flows outwards all right rajas is out yes go and get a job earn money go and get married have children do this do that he's having this she's having this i need this he needs that ah and tamoguna is oh, i can't do anything you see i am helpless what can i do zindagi barbaad hai bekar hai zindagi kuch nahi ho sakta hai tera that's what tamoguna is and satoguna is different satoguna is go upwards and inwards all right so when we continue to do spiritual practices and we elevate ourselves and we read uh, scriptures like the bhagavad gita or you can also read the bible or the quran or ramayan or mahabharat or best to read is the shrimad bhagavatam and i have so many videos on the gita and bhagavatam you can read and you can enlighten uh, yourself by reading scriptures like the bhagavatam or any scripture that you feel like and meet your guru and get a vision for your life so once you have the vision then everything else will be on track all right and after that mercury will also go retrograde by the end of this month and you will see that uh, some issues will be there regarding communication and all such stuff and i'll make these videos later and apart from that the last thing is uh, jupiter is going to end his motion in scorpio by the end of this month and 5th november it enters sagittarius and therefore the houses which jupiter rules in your chart will experience the flavor of jeshtha nakshatra for the last time the last one month all right so utilize this month for the house the houses which jupiter rules they are the most important houses to focus on during this month because then jupiter will enter mula nakshatra and whatever doesn't work will not sustain all right so now is the time to see and experiment the things which work all right so that is all i will say and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then please go down to the description section to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you you'll find him hopefully <laughs> all right thank you so much